As protests surrounding the burning of Qurans by U.S. soldiers continues, the body count surrounding the protests also continues. By February 24th, the number of casualties reached 20, including two U.S. troops. Mass protests broke out around Bagram Air Force Base after it was revealed that Americans had destroyed copies of the Quran, the Muslim holy book, while destroying a collection of radical Islamic literature. A few days ago, U.S. President Barack Obama issued an apology to the people of Afghanistan and the Afghan President Hamid Karzai for the disrespectful treatment of the Muslim holy books. The mood is an obvious one. A clear act of disrespect has taken place, and Obama has apologized for it. Personally, the people who should be apologizing are the ones who carried it out, and those who ordered them to do it. Republican candidate Newt Gingrich, however, was disapproving of Obama's apology, and instead offered a counter-opinion. President Obama surrendered twice today, and I think it deserves to be brought to the country's attention. Um, the more outrageous involves the killing of two young Americans and wounding of four others in Afghanistan. Now, apparently there was an incident where an, an, an amount of radical Islamist material was being burned. Apparently the Koran was part of that. That has now been blown into a huge incident by various fanatics in Afghanistan. The president apologized for the burning. But I haven't seen the president demand that the government of Afghanistan apologize for the killing of two young Americans. Newt Gingrich certainly has a great deal of outrage towards the deaths and injuries sustained by U.S. troops, so much so that he demands an apology from Hamid Karzai. Interesting to note that he never acknowledges that U.S. forces have killed a million and a half people in Afghanistan. It's very telling to see the outrage that Gingrich has towards the loss of two American lives and the complete support he has given for the murder of a million and a half people. No doubt him and people like him are the ones who walk around complaining that the world doesn't like them while thinking all they try to do is help people. The hypocrisy here is the shortness of Newt Gingrich's memory. Previously, former U.S. President George W. Bush apologized to Iraqi President Nouri al-Malaki after several U.S. soldiers used a Quran during target practice. As is typical with Gingrich, he's criticized Obama for the same actions taken by Bush. This is a continuous theme throughout America. The Democratic Party takes the same actions as the previous Republican administration, yet they are seen only as actions by the Democrats, a perception that continues the fraudulent idea that America is a democracy and that there is a real difference between both parties.